I've just been called to the school to give one of the kids their iPads because that's how they do school now. Everything's done on iPads. Different world. And I was just thinking, you know, of the phrase, everything happens for a reason. And just want to adjust it slightly to, out of everything that happens, there's an opportunity to learn from it. To learn something from it. That everything that we go through is brand new. Every choice we make has consequences. Not necessarily negative consequences. But every choice we make leads us to the next choice, to the next choice, to the next choice, to the next scene, to the next level, to the next experience. To something new that we need to use the vast amount of information that we've already gathered through our experiences so far and discern what to do in that new choice that we have been given. New scene that we're in, new experience that we, from this new body of information and experiences and past experiences has never been before. Because as you get more information, you actually change your next choice. One person's choice on something, if given a negative consequence at some stage, will probably think twice about using, doing that same, making that same choice when faced with a similar crossroads. Then another who has never taken that choice, and they might make that choice and nothing negative happened to them because their body of information is different than the body of information that you experienced. We're just bodies of information, interacting with other bodies of information and a world of information. Now since I could make a choice and I could stay shopping where I was, I was actually just sitting at the cafe listening to an audio book, doing Sudoku and about to read the rest of my Russell Brand book and then go shopping <laughs> when I got the text message. But instead, when I got the text message, I decided to get into the car and go and get in his iPad because I know how much schoolwork they do on that iPad and that that is a more important priority in his life and my priority of him being happy and not stressed. If I can do something to alleviate that stress, then that's a higher priority than my own priorities. <laughs> and it really doesn't take that much out of my day, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. And if I wasn't blabbing to the camera right now, I'd be continually listening to my audiobook, which is something I might do. Da -da 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 -da. It's all perspective, isn't it? Yesterday, yesterday, the day before yesterday, we had thunderstorm at asthma in Melbourne. It's a big deal. I couldn't breathe either, but um, they had like 900 calls to triple O. I'll be back. The iPad. Triple the amount of people in hospital. Uh, all the ambulances that had um, gone home for the day were called back. Even our next door neighbour had an ambulance because apparently in some, some thunderstorms bring up all the pollens, break them up into tiny little particles that can get stuck into really tiny particles that can get stuck into their lungs which people with low immune systems Asthmatics, people who suffer from hay fever, anyone with a low immune system. Everything would get inflamed. And yeah, that would have put me in hospital a few years ago, but not anymore. I haven't even been back to a hospital or a doctor since I decided to take care of myself. You can't tell anyone not to have um, pasta and bread and things, especially like Italians who are, you know, have grown up on it. It's not like 
you can't tell people to add more greens. You can't tell people to add more anti-inflammatory foods and stuff to their diet. I do tell people, I also do tell people that it, they need to take responsibility, that they can change their life, that it is possible to uh, stop putting a badge on yourself saying victim, stop putting labeling yourself with all these diseases because when you label yourself with all these diseases you're walking around life with these labels on you saying I am this and you're keeping yourself sick small limited and you're telling your body you were limited you need to somehow start making baby steps even if it's just half a glass of water a day one little baby step to validate to your cells that you're actually making an effort and from that baby step you'll get another baby step have an apple from that baby step you take another baby step walk from here to the end of the road all these little baby steps these little permission slips these tools these intentions to start researching what other tools permission slips ways that other people have healed themselves when the doctors have said I don't know what to do I don't know what else what other medicine to give you labeling yourself with anything that a doctor has given you some diagnosis is like not the wor the worst thing is when they've given people a death sentence oh we estimate that person's got three months to live seven months to live three weeks to live that's the worst thing they can do because if that person intentionally if, if that person believes that doctor then they're basically programming their cells to die in that time. It's very rare that you find people outlive those unless they didn't believe the doctor to begin with. You can outlive any doctor's diagnosis if you reconnect with your own body and start making positive intentions, promises to your body, proof to your body, validation to your body. I am trying, I am doing this because I want you to be healthier. All right, let's go drop off a tablet, bye. I'm actually reprogramming my own body of information when I have little rants like that about people putting labels on their health. I don't ever expect other people now to get anything but the seed. It's that seed that I plant, but I don't expect them to understand, believe, acknowledge, accept anything that I say. I just try and let it permeate through my own body of information and reaffirm to myself, re-jig my own neural pathways, ones and zeros, my own database to that which I know works when you're mixing and merging and rubbing shoulders with other bodies of information that don't believe it. You can unfortunately take on their uh, limited beliefs and become more limited. You can de-evolve. You can go backwards. <laughs> so I'm going to use any, if, you know, any time that I have that I remember to reprogram my own beliefs to that which I know works and that which does serve me. That'll do for today. Bye!